All right. Well, uh, welcome everybody. Sorry, this is a bit chaotic. Uh, to uh, New Orleans ESRM 492. Oh! Yeah. All right. We are up and down the West Coast this evening. So uh, tonight we're starting out mellow. We're not going to go over any content or anything. T tonight is really our first just logistical howdy doody kind of meeting. So everybody can meet each other. We can get some of the stuff taken care of. Traditionally, what happens with this first meeting is we do this and then I try to do all this content and it gets just crazy. So we're just going to do logistic stuff um, uh, today. Um, so what I'd like to do to start out with is just make sure everybody in here is in 492, ESRM 492, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, we'll go over a couple things, but uh, this doesn't advance. That's super cool. How the heck is that supposed to work? Um, so uh, we're not talking about a whole bunch of stuff tonight, but I think it is important to say that um, I think this is gonna be a class different from most of the classes you guys are used to taking. Uh, it's, it's really something that um, you guys will be seeing things that are different and unusual, and you guys are really in charge of your learning. We don't have tests in here. We don't have that kind of stuff. It's really about um, taking a lot of the stuff that you guys have learned or will be learning in classes and sort of pulling it together in a real-world context. So um, we're gonna, in a few weeks, we're going to be heading to Louisiana, this is a, a map of basically where we're going to be working. Um, so this is, uh, this is, the, this is the, the Gulf of Mexico. This is the ocean down here. This little funky old thing is the Mississippi River, which tows out in what's called the um, Bird's Foot Delta. It dumps into the ocean there. This is an incredibly important riverway in our country. This, there's all kinds of history associated with this, injustice, uh, uh, changing uh, cultural norms, changing um, uh, cultures. Uh, it drains, this one watershed drains more than 40% of the continental U.S., so it's hugely important from an environmental standpoint. Um, but it's also been a mixing point and a crossroads for centuries, uh, thousands of years, really, but, but especially um, the last few centuries. There's all kinds of uh, just about every story in America is tied up with this part of the country in one way, shape, or form. Wars and uh, social justice movements and things like good food and incredible music. And we're going to touch on all this stuff over the course of the semester. Uh, more on that later. Um, but what I want to just start out with is one of the most common questions I get from you guys at this point in the semester is uh, we will be doing some technical stuff. Don't freak out. Every single one of you, regardless of what your major is, regardless of what classes you have, you'll be able to do all this stuff that we're doing. We'll take a day or so to get up, spun up to speed. When I introduce some of my some of our friends here, you'll you'll hear a little bit about what we're doing. But um, we'll be doing technical stuff. No reason to stress out. Some people get a little worried. I'm not a science major. I'm not a this. It's all going to be good. Um, so this is one of the sites where we've been working for the last decade now to restore wetlands. We'll talk about that. But there's a bunch of dots and there's a bunch of things we do with plants and it's going to be cool. You're going to have a great time. Um, so before we do anything else, I want to introduce folks. So uh, the two people in this picture I've known for a long time. I'm old and fat and all that kind of good stuff. This is a picture of us in a... Foos doesn't exist anymore, right? <laughs> no, I think it's gone. Right. right. So this is this is about 20 years ago when the three of us were younger and, and had more hair and things like that. Um, so this is what we look like now. And so I think I would like to start introducing ourselves to, to everyone. So I'll start and then maybe uh, John and Tom can go and then we'll we'll go on to Kiki and Paul. Paul has to take off pretty quickly. But, but more on him uh, when we get to him. But I just want to introduce ourselves. So what we're just going to do is say our name. Give us, uh, in the case of the faculty, we'll give you a little bit of background on, on us. But then you guys just uh, introduce us to, introduce your, you to us and um, tell us what you're hoping to get out of the class and, and no big deal and we'll just go from, from person to person. This is almost everybody that will be associated with our class. It's important for me just to note that um, John, Dr. John Lambrinos from Oregon State, who's going to introduce himself in a second, he's going to bring somewhere on the order of about four students from Oregon State. 
we're going to be one big class. Um, so, so those students aren't here. So those are the only folks that aren't, won't be doing introductions or anything tonight. Um, and when we go and do stuff, though, um, we are all one big, massive group. So it doesn't matter where we're from, doesn't matter from Oregon, whatever. Um, we're, we just we all roll together and it's all good. So so administratively, the powers that be like to sort of say, hey, this this is these students with this class and this. Um, we deal with that in terms of accounting and money and stuff, but we don't deal with that in terms of uh, our regular uh, get together. We're all just one big happy family. So, okay, cool. So with that, I'll, I'll start off introducing myself. So my name is uh, Sean Anderson. I'm a professor of environmental science and resource management. You guys probably all know that. But uh, uh, I have um, been going to New Orleans for a long time. This class was birthed out of um, my previous institution was Stanford University, and, and uh, my wife and I left that to come sort of help get this campus going and off the ground um, more than a, 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 literally three weeks before Hurricane Katrina struck. So we moved, and uh, the genesis of this class was the fact that up there I had uh, a lab and I had uh, you know, resources and this and that, and when we, we start getting into what happened with Hurricane Katrina, um, I had just moved here. My son was two at the time, so we couldn't, you know, you know couldn't just disappear. I, I had all these classes to teach, brand new school, just had moved, boxes were still being unpacked, and it couldn't just up and leave, and it was, I was very frustrated. So we'll talk about uh, the path to there, but the short version is um, we eventually started bringing students here. But before we brought students, six months after New Orleans happened, John... Uh, and, and Tom and I and some other friends met in New Orleans and we sort of did a, actually Tom didn't meet us in New Orleans, he met us in Memphis because they have better barbecue in Memphis. But, so, um, <laughs> so, uh, but, but John and, and I and a bunch of friends, we, we sort of went around Louisiana and, and, and checked stuff out from, from the eastern part of the state to the western part of the state and it was totally crazy. It looked like Beirut, it looked like some war-torn country. But we said, oh, we can maybe make something work. And... Um, and so, the, and so we brought students the next next time, the, ne the, the next uh, iteration. And uh, John wasn't able to come with me that first trip. Every single other trip since then, uh, John Lambrinos and Oregon State have been a, a partner with us. And uh, Tom has been coming with us, who's at UCLA, for about, what, Tom, like four years now? No, this is, this is going to be our third year. Okay, so Tom, it'll be Tom's third year. So anyway, so that's the deal. So... So we've just been doing this, and as you'll hear, this is a very organic experience. The main part of, the main goal of this class is first and foremost just to help our friends in the Gulf Coast, straight up, to, do, to lend our backs, to, to give folks a hand with recovery and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, secondarily, it's about trying to understand uh, uh, different cultures, different places, and all that great stuff. And thirdly, it's on you guys to ask why. Why did the stuff that we're going to read about and we'll talk about happen? Um, why did it happen the way it did? Why has recovery been so slow? In the midst of all this, why did this thing called the Deepwater Horizon happen? What, you know, what, was, what was up with that? And, um, and so all of that, is, this is your opportunity. We meet people, readings, we'll meet business folks, we'll meet music folks. We'll meet uh, 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 poor people, rich people, reporters, Pulitzer Prize winners, chefs, all kinds of people from different walks of life. And it's all open to you guys to, to talk to them, to, to get a sense for um, why things happen the way they did. And that's really, that's really the nut of this class. Helping folks out, making friends, and trying to get a better understanding as to how this thing happened the way it did and is continuing to unfold. So with that, um, I'll be quiet. Oh, I should also say that um, uh, we have some friends, some colleagues here, and, and all these folks are, are your professors and will be helping out. But if there's any problems, I'm the one that's responsible. So, so everybody else is responsible for all the good stuff. If there's a problem, you blame me. And you guys should come talk to me. I don't expect problems. But, but I'm the, I'm the uh, as scary as it sounds, I'm the most in charge adult of, of you. <laughs> which I understand, but, but just, just so we're clear. Uh, otherwise, for just content and everything else, all of us are, are equal in terms of the faculty here. So, okay, so that's me. Uh, so we, John Boy, you wanna go next? Hello, I'm John. 
Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Talk. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so Tom, you shut up. Don't say anything. John, you're super low. So, John, talk as loud as you can. <laughs> That's hard. I'm already super low. Can you hear that? Just, just, just talk. We're being very quiet to hear you. All right. So, uh, I am a uh, faculty in the horticulture department here at Oregon State University. And uh, although I'm in a horticulture department, uh, my background is more plant ecology, restoration sort of stuff. I've done a lot of work in wetlands. Uh, um, and as Sean mentioned, I was key. I've been coming on every one of these classes except the first one. I think Sean called me up like the week before he was going. <laughs> You want to go to New Orleans? I think because he needed someone to drive a van. And I had some things, like, I had some grant proposal or something I was going to submit. And I, I didn't go in the first one. I've been going ever since. And it's a really wonderful, fantastic class. I won't say anything more about it, but it's, uh, obviously I like it because I keep coming back. Uh, we're hopefully going to take... Uh, three OSU students. There's one definite person who's coming, Shaw, who is who may show up a little bit in a few minutes here. She does will introduce you to her. Uh, Shaw is the um, current um, head of the OSU Horticulture Club. So she's the president. And uh, hopefully we're going to get two other students to come along with us. And the only other thing I would say is that I'm actually going to be a few days late. The OSU students will be there when you get there, but I will be a couple days late because for circumstances beyond my control, I'm going to be in Japan. So I'm coming straight from Japan. I'll see you on Monday of, uh, of the week that you're there. So I'm going to miss the uh, cooking class. Arrive we'll eat all the food for you. It's all good. Oh my God, I destroyed John. Okay, okay, no, you're good, you're back, you're back, you're back, sorry. All right, I'm done. Okay, okay, awesome. So I should also say, just to explain, so, so of a, the service we do, the first couple days, we're going to behave a little bit like tourists and do History of Louisiana through food, through a cooking school. Um, uh, we'll do a, a tour of how the levees failed and stuff like that. Um, but after those first couple days, we'll start getting into our service. And something like a bit more than half the time, we'll be working on our wetland restoration efforts. And we'll talk about that. And then the other half of the time, we'll be, uh, other days, we'll be working on installing community food gardens in different neighborhoods and stuff. And so John's students are particularly well adapted since they're all horticulture folks. They all want to be farmers. Um, and so they're perfect for, for that. Uh, I mean, they're on everything, but, but especially they'll take the lead when we're, we're doing all the planting and stuff. So great. <coughs> so, uh, Tom, you want to go? Sure. <clears throat> Hi, guys. As Sean said, my name is Tom Huggins. I am the uh, collections manager at the UCLA Herbarium, uh, which is a part of the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at UCLA. Uh, a herbarium, in case you guys don't know, is like a museum of dried plants. We have over 200,000 specimens uh, at the herbarium at UCLA. Um, and the herbarium is really a, a collection of smaller herbaria, um, one of which is a Santa Monica Mountains herbaria. We have many thousands. What? what? Of, yes, we have many thousands of species from the, the mountains uh, just to your east um so that may be of interest to you guys in case you ever want to identify anything in the mountains up there herbaria are great places to identify plants you bring your plant specimens in you get a chance to compare them to specimens already in the collection of known uh, identity i'm interested in i'm working on a couple of papers right now one is a a, a paper that i've been working on for about 20 years uh, of the <laughs> It's, uh, it's an orchid flora of the island of Nevis in the Lesser Antilles in which I compare the diversity of orchids on Nevis to the rest of the islands in the Lesser Antilles. 
This I'm working on um, a paper cool. on the endangered species, the Lane Mountain Milkfetch, Astragalus yeguranus, in the Mojave Desert. And I'm just waiting for there to be a good rain. There's supposed to be a good rain this year. And to collect uh, the data we need to, to, to publish a paper there. And I'm working with Sean and John and Katie um, on who, who's, a... Who's our NGO partner who you guys will all meet? Yeah, we're working on a, a number of papers. I'm focusing on a, a paper that is a description of the forest, the forest and its composition, its composition of species in um, the English term peninsula, which is where we're going to be working. I'm not going to see you guys uh, initially because I'm going to a wedding in Louisville, Kentucky. My wife, my nie my wife's niece, is getting married there. So I'm going to be there that weekend that you were just arriving in in New Orleans, and I'm sh I'll show up in New Orleans on Monday, just um, like John, just like John showed up the same day. Oh, oh cool, cool, cool. And the um, the uh, we, we're we're part of my the stuff that I do in New Orleans is collecting plant specimens to document the diversity of trees there at English Turn, and you guys can really help. Last year. Uh, the students uh, found independently, a group of students found two new species, uh, I mean, not new species, but species we had not detected at English Turn. And so that was a great help to us. So I'm looking forward to working with you guys in the forest, and I can't wait to get over there. I think we're going to have great fun. Uh, Tom and John are very boring people. They're not very fun to be with. I'm sorry. <laughs> but somehow... I think you'll you'll persist with them in some way, shape, or form. Uh, number next, we should introduce. So Paul uh, might have to skedaddle pretty quickly. So maybe we'll introduce Paul. And what I'm going to do for uh, John and Tom, I'm going to spin the the computer around so that you can uh, see the students and stuff as they introduce themselves. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, but hold on, give me one second. Start. Okay. Can you guys see anything there? Oh, I got an idea. Yeah. How about this? How about this? How about who you guys come up right here and you can look in the camera and then you can talk to everybody. That way everybody can see everybody. So come right here, dude. All right. Yeah, so you should look in and wave to these guys. So you should look in and wave because they don't know who you are first. Hi guys. Well, I know who John is. I know, but. Hey John, how you doing? Good. Good to see you. Hi Tom, my name is Paul Spar, and for everybody else, my name is Paul Spar. I am uh, the technician for environmental science and research management here. Well. As of tomorrow, I'm the For former, two more days. Uh, as, as of tomorrow, I am the former environmental science and resource management technician. Um, I have uh, accepted a position uh, with the geomatics and uh, 3D modeling company that uses drones to do uh, aerial mapping. So the kind of uses is uh, ESRM type uses where there's you know, land use, modeling terrain, looking at um, forests, looking at a bunch of different- Tom, you're just eating, that's good. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, so, so long story short, I specialize in using drones to, uh, to collect data. And so uh, I'm going to be a little bit late to the show. I, uh, I have to be in Switzerland. It's terrible. And uh, I don't. Yeah, it's going to be terrible. Uh, eating fondue. Yeah, eating fondue and Swiss cheese and uh, all that kind of stuff. But uh, so, yeah, I'm going to try to come for a weekend and do some data collection. Uh, get some aerial mapping of, uh, the, of the sites that they've been characterizing for some time. And uh, unfortunately, I'm only going to be there for about two to three days. So to explain, so Paul's been our right-hand man for a while, and now he's going to work for this uh, <laughs> tech company up in San Francisco and all that kind of great stuff. He's transitioning. So after tomorrow, he's still going to be a CSUCI person, but he's become a volunteer. Yep. So he's still going to be helping us out through time and stuff, but, um, but his – his we had planned this before he got this job so he's he's going to come essentially on one of his weekends essentially to come help us um and uh that'll help us get data but you guys may or may not see him after tonight but he's absolutely part of our team and i want to make sure you guys saw him and he's definitely available if you guys have any questions or stuff to to reach out um the, the software will be used part of one of the tools we'll be using to map the forest um, is the company that he's going to work for. Um, and also we're going to be using a new tool that Dr. Patch uh, and we've been developing um, to not just use 
pictures to map the forest, but to actually use laser beams to map the forest. So it's going to be really cool and uh, all that. But, I, but even though he was having to disappear to go see some friends tonight and say goodbye, I felt that he should say hello to you guys. So, um, so there we go. There's Paul. Yeah, and I'll, I will be also uh, hopefully coming in on Zoom uh, to some mm -hmm. of the meetings. Yeah, good. And so uh, for those of you who are ESRM students, uh, me leaving, I don't know, I've talked to everybody, but me leaving, I'm still available by email if you have any questions about equipment or anything else. So yeah. Awesome. Woohoo! For the hot seat. Hello. Hello. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah I, can I can see you. See you. Right, so I am Kiki Patch. I am the newest professor here in ESRM. So I'm super excited to be part of this team, although I'm realizing now that I may have been roped in because Sean needed someone to drive a van. <laughs> oh man! So, it was out of respect I, for you that I invited you. I know, you. I was feeling really privileged <laughs> and stuff, but now I realize I just need to drive the van. And even so, um, my specialty and my background is coastal geomorphology, so awesome place to go, check out the levees, look at the sinking city, and you know, I'm pretty excited about all of that. I'm also excited about the mapping technology we're going to use there. We're, we're really excited about what we're doing with some of these UAVs and some of the equipment we're going to put on there. So hopefully that'll be something we can play around with if any of you guys are interested in the mapping. I teach the GIS class here, so I'm very excited about all of that. So if you have any questions that are more sediment related and sand related, <laughs> not plant related, that is me. Do not ask me to identify anything. Because I have no idea, but I do know the same. So there you go. All right, cool. That is me. Cool. I'm gonna run out, guys. All right. Pleasure to meet y'all. Thanks, Paul. So, um, I see you guys. I see you tomorrow. Uh, so, um, you guys again. You guys just come up and, and have a seat and have a maybe stare into the camera and say hi to these guys, and then you can address everybody else. I'll just clarify the rumor that's already brewing that I only invite people to drive vans. Yeah. What happened was a guy who none of you will know. But if you go through graduation, you'll know this guy because you're going to sing the, the Channel Islands, right? That. So the guy that wrote that song was our first provost, the number two at the university. He was uh, a, a musician by training. Um, and the very first time I was putting this on, uh, uh, it was I needed to bring some folks. And our, our class is a bit smaller than we've traditionally had. And we'll talk about that later, what happened. Um, it's a crazy story, but, but, but so we're a little bit smaller. But even so, we needed two vans. And so I had two vans set up. And the gentleman, the provost, and so he was coming, and this is great. And he was a musician. So I thought, oh, it's perfect. New Orleans, the musician is going to be there and help us with all the, you know, thir you know five, six time stuff. And so, uh, so. He, I passed him a couple days, about a week or so before we left in the corridor, and I said, hey, so you haven't responded to my emails, so you know we're leaving, and da 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 and he said, oh, yeah, sorry, I mean to tell you, I can't go. And I said, the what? He said, I can't go, my mom died, and uh, the, her funeral is this, uh, ne this week or this next week, and so I'm sorry, but I can't go. I'm like, oh, man, I feel so bad for your mom and everything, and uh, I'm sorry. He's like, oh, it's okay, you know, she's getting older and this and that, so okay. Um, and then I realized, oh my God, how am I supposed to drive students when we didn't all fit in one thing? And so um, the, the answer was I probably had to, kill, had to kill the class. So then, in how I normally operate, I decided don't tell anybody and just had the students come with me and then swore everybody to secrecy and uh, took my most responsible student, my oldest student, and said, you are going to drive a minivan and you're going to follow us around. Now, okay. And so uh, this seemed to be a brilliant solution at the time, but I, I, I hardly slept the whole trip. I, the whole time I was freaking out that something was going to happen. He was going to rear end someone or something like that. Ended up being great, um, and it ended up being super awesome. We'll talk about, we'll talk about w what happened. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it sounds like I'm roping people into come driving vans, but we could do it without other people. Just, it, would be, it would only be massively illegal. So it's all good. So, okay, good. So now we can quash that rumor that I only invite people to drive vans. All right, cool. So uh, I don't know which side of the room we want to start on. Doesn't matter. Okay, good. Okay.
<laughs> can you guys see every? You guys can see okay. Yep. Yeah. Tom, yeah. John. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, my name is Lauren Zahn. I'm an English education major, and um, ESRM is my minor. I'm really looking forward to this class because, as an English major, I don't really get to go out into the field too much. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to learning new things and trying something new. Cool. Cool. All right. Welcome, Lauren. It's like AA or something. This is good. <laughs> My name is Patrick Costa. You should come close so they can see okay. your face. Like oh, stick your nose like right there. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Man. That's good. Okay, so, Patrick too. All right. Cool. Well, yeah, I'm ESRM major, um, senior. Uh, really looking forward to going to um, New Orleans. I've heard a lot of great things about the class. Really interested in the mapping and the laser stuff. That sounds kind of cool. So, um, but. Everything sounds really interesting and amazing, so I'm looking forward to it. Cool. Yeah. All right, I'm oh, Michaela. Okay, cool. Hello. Uh, my name is Michaela Miller. I'm environmental. So I would, I would say say hi to these dudes, but then but then look, talk you talk to people. You don't have to talk to them. Hi. Okay, so environmental science major. Um, I'm excited to go to New Orleans. I'm really excited for the food, especially, and just to see a different city, a new landscape. And because I'm from California, I've been here forever, so I'm excited to see something different. And um, yeah. Cool. Yay. All right. <laughs> Hello, I'm puny, like a tear in a knee. <laughs> Ooh, that's good, I like that. It's the easiest way to remember it. Um, I am not an ESRM major. I'm actually a business econ major, but my dad is an environmental scientist. So I was um, subjected at, in, <laughs> in childhood to different environmental surveys. When he was going to school, I had to go to a river otter survey. And if you ever meet him, he'll just start laughing that whole situation. <laughs> so um, I'm really just looking forward to traveling and stuff because I actually spent a year in Germany and I just like viewing the world in different, as many different ways as I can so that maybe one day I can figure out what I want to do in my life. So yeah. Cool. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Thea. Hi, I'm Thea, and <laughs> I'm a comm major, and I am so excited to go eat and listen to music and get dirty and plant stuff and just do everything. I'm be on the plane, get off the plane. <laughs> I'm just really excited to go because I, I mean, I can't study abroad. Like I could not leave that long. I have to buy a fiance, and I would be so sad about myself. Like, Two weeks is good. And, um, yeah, so I'm pumped. It's gonna be fun. Nice cool. to meet you. Great, dude. Thanks. Hi, hi, John. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm Aspen, and I'm an ESRM major. I'm a senior. Um, I'm doing research on the lagoons out on the island, so this is a perfect opportunity for me to learn about wetlands in a different area and with a different <laughs> ocean feeding them. So I'm really looking forward to this whole trip. I've been wanting to go on this since my freshman year, so this is a dream come true. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. It's like Disneyland. It's like going to Disneyland. Hi. 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 I'm Sadie. I'm a sophomore. Um, my major is in business. And I had ESRM with Linda O'Hirek, and Sean Anderson came in to do the presentation. I was like, oh, New Orleans? I'm going to try to I tricked you. You tricked me. <laughs> All I want to eat is the beignets. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's such a cool opportunity to like, uh, learn new cultures, and I'm excited for that. Just, I'm so excited about everything. And I cool. kept emailing him. And, and, yeah, so I'm Sweet. I'm young, and I'm going to learn from this. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, you say it. Hey guys, hey uh, my, hey. Name is, my name is Sean, uh, the better looking Sean. Oh, uh, that's easy. That's easy to do. That's easy to do. <laughs> um, I'm an ESRM major. I'm a senior. Um, really looking forward to giving that helping hand down there 
and learning about the culture. Um, I've never been to the South before, so I look forward to It's totally the same as here. So, uh, <laughs> totally. Looking forward to experiencing that and uh, just everything that has to go with it. So yeah, looking forward to it. Cool. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Hi, Hi. Um, I'm, Hi. Vanessa Min. I'm Vanessa Min Hearden. Um, I'm a biology and environmental science double major. Um, I'm excited because I'm actually from New Orleans or Baton Rouge. Um, and so coming out here was a drastic change for me. And so it's going to be really cool to go back and see it from this perspective instead of it being my home now. So that's what I'm excited for. Cool. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Jay. Nice to meet you. E -me hey Jay. Jay. Um, so <laughs> I'm uh, let me get in frame. There we go. So I'm really excited to play in the swamps. So that's great. I, I love going out and doing research. I work with trees already out on Santa Rosa Island. So it's going to be great to hug a new tree species. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to learn culture, uh, learn how to cook some of their food, and uh, jazz for the music. So yeah. Yahooey. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, my name is Dulce, like sweeter candy. Um, <laughs> yeah, most people can't say my name the first time correctly. Um, and then they never get it right anyway. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, I'm excited about everything about the trip. I've never been outside of California besides Mexico because I'm Mexican. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited about everything and just playing in the swamps like um, Jay said and yeah, that's it. Cool. <laughs> it's all good. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Hi, I'm Polly. Hey, Polly. Holly with an H. Yeah, yeah. With Holly. <laughs> Changes can change cultures as well. So. Cool. And the food and the music as well. <laughs> awesome. Uh, hi, my name is Leela. Hi, hi. Leela. Hi. <laughs> I am a biology major with a chemistry minor, senior here. Uh, I'm looking forward to immersing myself in a culture outside my own and providing a service to a community that has lost everything and been able to come back and yeah. Cool, awesome. John Boy, did you have any, did any of your students show up or no? No. Okay, <laughs> okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so, um, so cool, so, th so that was the main thing I wanted to do tonight. I, did you guys want to say, I, I was gonna talk some logistics, did you guys want to say anything else before I? Logistics? No, right, good. Cool. Okay, cool. So, um, so great. So, uh, a couple quick things. I wrote some notes down here to talk about stuff. So, we're doing intros. People, uh, Sadie said, I forgot everybody's name. It's all good. So, one of the things, in addition to filling out these forms before you go tonight, and in addition to just going onto that Google Doc and filling out some of the insurance stuff and, and all that jazz, it's all good. Um, if you haven't, when we, when we break here, you guys can jump on my computer if, if you don't uh, have one or whatever. Um, uh, and getting that stuff filled out, I have a couple questions I want to ask you about uh, stuff like do you need cameras and stuff like that. So we'll take care of that tonight, doing that. You guys have all your paperwork signed, and that's awesome. Um, so just so you guys know, our trips, the dates of our trips are going to be from March. So Thursday, March 17th, which is St. Patrick's Day, what could possibly go wrong in New Orleans on St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> uh, 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 to the 26th, which is Sunday. Uh, so, um, and again, we sort of came up here in conversations. We're all getting together, boom, boom, boom. We're getting on the plane. We're getting on a, uh, actually a Roadrunner shuttle and going from campus, boom, going down to LAX. Awesome, boom, 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 we're there. Dr. Patch is coming with us, it's awesome. Um, uh, I'm the only one that will be with you all the time. Sorry. 
Uh, so, so uh, as you heard, John, and John will be coming from Japan. Tom will be coming from a wedding. And so, and so listen, both these guys like, have a lot of things with cats. So they have a, there, there's lots of cats in there. Uh, yeah, he looks cute. He didn't tell you that some cats have been stuck under his house for weeks at a time and stuff. But <laughs> you'll, learn, you'll learn about all that stuff. So, um, so uh, those guys are coming after we're there for a couple days. Dr. Patch will be leaving a few days before you guys go. So we're all good. We have, we have tons of uh, faculty helping out, but, but just so, so, and Paul will come when he can. He still hasn't started his new job, so he's gonna be working out some of the details, but, but, um, but that's all good. And then, the, and then, so we'll be doing meeting beforehand here on Monday nights with preparatory lectures and background talks and st- all that kind of good stuff. Um, but just please note that, uh, and then we'll get, we'll get back. You guys will sleep for a week because you'll be a little teeny bit tired. <laughs> and, then, um, and then sort of the week after we get back, uh, we'll have sort of a, a sort of touch base meeting. Um, this, your trip is being supported by the, IR, by the Instructionally Related Activities Committee. And so part of the deal is whenever we have an experience with IRA that's not on campus, um, for folks we can't take, unfortunately we just can't take all of our fellow students with us. So the agreement is we do something here on campus. And this year, um, uh, several other classes will be joining us. So the J- Japan trip, uh, uh, the India trip, um, I forget where the other trip is going. Um, and so we'll have a poster, we have a poster slash video slash gumbo session. And that, uh, we had to move it around because there were some conflicts with some other things, but it's gonna be Tuesday, April 19th. Late afternoon, uh, starting at 4.30. Go until about 6.30 or so. We have the room booked till seven or whatever, but, but uh, more on that later, but just please book that. So again, if you have, if you have a class that might conflict, gotta, you know, we gotta work that out with your professor. But your one deliverable is something for that event. It's up to you guys what you wanna do. A lot of people do a poster. A lot of people will do a video. Um, uh, it, w- people have done, perform- people have done um, a painting, they've made art. They've done uh, songs, so it, it's up to you guys, whatever, whatever your creative passion is, but something that pertains to some aspect of the trip, that, that something you've learned about, something you've experienced, something you want to communicate, and it's all good. And so in addition to that, we'll be, we'll be cooking, um, and so we'll be making some of the food we're learning to cook, and we'll be giving that to our guests. And, we, and you guys can invite your boyfriends, you can invite your, your significant others, your family, your friends, whoever. And it's usually, we'll probably have about 150 people turn up. It'll be a, it'll be a good little party there. Um, so it'll be great. And Tom will come, because he's only UCLA. John, uh, one year actually came, I believe, but we'll probably Skype him in. We'll have some uh, you know, Mardi Gras beads on a monitor like this. And, and uh, so, yeah. So, so please do mark the 19th. We'll meet a couple times after we get back to help with some stuff, work on some logistics. But the 19th will be our last probably face-to-face meeting, and that'll be that, that Tuesday night thing. Um, uh, okay, there's a couple other things I want to just talk about, but um, we'll, we'll talk about this more in detail when we when next uh, meet. But some things you just want to m- make sure you maybe work on getting if you don't have these things. Um, some of the stuff is really basic, like leather gloves and stuff for working, and so, so that I won't go into all that. I'll just talk about some of the things that might need a little bit more lead time that I'd like you guys to work on. So everybody needs to have really good, solid uh, uh, shoe, uh, uh, ankle protection. So a good pair of hiking boots or solid, solid boots. Um, for, and that's our default shoe. So going around the town, going whatever, it's an old town, we got a lot of cobblestone streets. Going this and that, so just you know, nobody. I don't want anybody twisting an ankle. So good, solid uh, foot protection. Um, one, two. Everybody's also going to have to bring a pair of rubber boots, galoshes, just sort of like knee-high uh, boots. Um, it, it it varies by each year. This could be the driest year ever, and we won't get any rain. It could dump on us for five days, and so by having the rubber boots, that assures us that when we hit the hit the wetland and stuff, that if it is muddy, you're not you know we're not totally mudding up everything. Um, so I'll leave you guys up to you to decide if your if your shoes are good and solid, sort of you know hiking shoes. That's up to you. That's all good. Um, the the um, rubber boots you can get a pair at Big Five for like fifteen bucks. If they're not, you don't need to go out and spend some crazy huge amount of money. The one thing though that I would like to encourage you guys to get, and this is from years of experience, are Carhartt pants. 
So these are pants that are um, double thick, and uh, it's it's just better if you have them. Is that Carhartt? Yes, yeah, C A R H A R T. Carhartt. So um, they are, and you want to get the double thick ones. You can get these online, and so you guys are all young and hip and, and Instagramming and all that crud. So you guys can figure it out, but my strong suggestion is to go, the closest place for us is the Boot Barn in Oxnard, because then you can try on different sizes. They have different styles and different this and this. So the main idea with that is um, when, we're, when, we're in, when we're in the wetland, there's, there are like some snakes and some alligators, but really that's, not a, <laughs> that's really not a big deal, really. The, the most dangerous thing are all the blackberry scratchers and things like that. So having protection so that your legs aren't cut up and stuff is a useful thing. So you don't have to buy car hard pants. They tend to be a little more expensive, but, um, but I, I would strongly encourage, I, I never require, and almost uh, one year, actually, a guy who did it, like, I don't need that. And then when we we're there, he's like, F that, I'm getting them. So he, he, he next day shipped them to our house there, basically. So, um, so I, I think they're a useful thing. Uh, John, do you think these guys should have Carhartt pants? Yes. Tom, do you think these guys should have Carhartt pants? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. See? So, so we'll talk more about all the – but that's something you might want to, you know, you know, have a couple weeks lead time if you want to go try some on. And, and, and it's, it's, it's – you guys pick your style. Clearly, I have a lot of style. But you guys can pick your color and this and that, but just try to get the thicker kind, right? And you'll see as soon as you start um, uh, checking a couple of them out. And if you just decide, oh, man, I can save a – few bucks on Amazon or whatever, uh, you can order them on, you know, other ways. But, but it, it's one of those things where they, they're, they're, a we, they're slightly weird shape compared to most pants. They're made to be working pants that you wear and shrink. So it's probably worth trying them on uh, rather than um, just sort of going on your default size. A couple things I want everybody to have on their cell phones is the app Zello, Z-E-L-L-O. So once we break, once we break, I can help you guys with this. But uh, so the Dr. Patch and other folks can get out of here, I'll, I'll uh, just say that. And the other thing is, um, you guys will all be blogging. I've not, I've been, I've been uh, lame, and I have not updated everyone's IDs on our blog. We will have a blog. You guys are going to have to be posting daily uh, thoughts and all that kind of good stuff. But for now, just go ahead and download if you have not already the WordPress app. It's free for Android and for iPhone. And but both these apps are free. Um, John, Tom, is there any other thing, any other logistical notes, early notes? Uh, uh, I can't think of anything. Okay. Okay. All right, great. And so I'll see you guys in two weeks. All right. And uh, all is well. And I think, John, we're going to do a cook phone call, I think, Friday at 4.30 or something, I think. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, thanks, you guys. All right, bye. Bye, guys. Rock and roll.